Hey everyone, this is Arun. Welcome back to the OTBI tutorial series. Today's video, we're going to take a look at dashboards. I know you have been asking for this, so here we go. Today's video is going to be focused on explaining the anatomy of the dashboard. So what components are part of the dashboard, uh, typically what is structure of the dashboard, etc. And the next few videos, we'll get into creating dashboards. All right, so wh why dashboard, right? So you, you do have different OTB analysis that you may have created and you wanna wa see everything at one place. That's the main use case of dashboard. So you wanna see all of the analysis that you have created, obviously logically connected analysis, right? You don't want to have uh, different analysis from different subject areas all coming together into one dash. Maybe you can have, but you know, does it make sense? So, you know, you can have all of the invoices, payables, invoices related analysis in one dashboard page, uh, everything that's related to pay payments in the another, in another dashboard page. But does it make sense to uh, mash up HR, uh, procurement, GL, fixed assets, everything into a dashboard page? Maybe it does make sense. But, you know, usually what I say is, you know, Dashboard is where you want to bring all of the logically connected or related um, analysis together to tell a story about that business process or the subject area that you're looking at. So, you know, as you can see, you know, you can have multiple different types of views, tablet view, graph view, you can have text, you can have links, all of that coming together in one area to tell the story about that business process or subject area. All right, now let's look at the structure of a dashboard. So you have the dashboard which comprises of page or pages. You can have one page or multiple pages. Each page will have column or columns. You can have one or more columns associated with a page. And each column can have sections, one or more sections. And each sections can have content within them. So content uh, is, is your OTB analysis, your graph, graphical view, your tabular view. You have action links, action link menu, you can have embedded content, you can have text, you can have folders displayed, ma many other things. So section contains all of the content. So again, to reiterate, dashboard consists of page or pages, page consists of column or columns, and column consists of section or sections, and section consists of one or more content that you want to view. So that's the typical structure of a dashboard. So if I look at um, a dashboard page, you have the column, you can have one or more columns, then you can have one or more sections in a column, then each section can have multiple content, one or more content. All right, so you can have, uh, you see that content within the section, this is a content, this is another content, and this is horizontally stacked or horizontally aligned, so you have content coming from, um, content displayed from left to right. You have this section, section two, where you have content displayed in a vertical alignment. So you have uh, it from top to bottom. So you have content one here, content two here, and these are vertically aligned top to bottom. So that's a typical structure of a dashboard page. Let's look at a, a sample dashboard that I created I'm gonna explain the hierarchy or the anatomy of this dashboard page. You have two pages here. So like I said, the dashboard can have one or multiple pages. You have the overview page here and you have the payments page here. You have a column within the overview page, you have a column and you'll see uh, different sections. And section, I have named each of these sections. So you can see this is the title section, this is invoices section, this is embedded content and this one I've been renamed it's just section one each section can have content you can see that this one has a text content this section in moisture section has two content two analysis basically one is a tabular view one is a graphical view and these are horizontally aligned within the section this next section which is embedded content you can see that these are vertically aligned so you have a tabular view and this is an embedded content which basically links to our image from the web 
The last section has uh, five different contents. So this is a link. This is another link. This one points to uh, OTB analysis. And this one points to web page, google.com. These two are action links. And this one links to a Google web page, Google search web page. This one links to an OTB analysis. And the last one is the action link menu. So you can have multiple action links associated with this one. Um, and I'll show you how it looks. But that, that's all the content here. And each of these columns, sections, uh, content has its own properties. So if I hover over column, you see the settings icon or the properties icon. You can click on that and select column properties. You can set all these properties for the column, your uh, alignment, background, border, uh, padding, uh, width and height, etc. For section, you have a little uh, few more options. So properties, then whether it is horizontally or vertically aligned, you can obviously delete the section if you wanted to. So if I go into properties of this section, you can have condition permissions, formatting the section, just like uh, column, you know, you can set the background, the alignment, the border, etc. Um, And you can see that you can rename it so you know you can change the name of the section uh, whether it is collapsible or not you can also so show section header section title etc so these are all the options that we have for the section so what i want to show is a different uh, objects has different properties and we will get this get into more detail on the next videos but i just wanted to show you so if i go into uh, details of this text uh, of one of these content let me show you what it looks like so i can s edit the analysis directly from here it will take me to the edit analysis page i can rename i can show i can select what i wanted to show so this analysis has a table and a graph and a title and compound view uh, what do i want to show in the dashboard so i, I have that selection so different content has different options. If I go into an embedded content and go to properties, you can see that it, it, this one takes the URL and you can set the width and uh, height. If I click on uh, link or image, you can see that it has uh, other properties that you have to set. Now we'll get into more detail of this in the coming videos. On the left section, you'll see the dashboard objects. So these are all the objects that you can add to the dashboard. So you can drag and drop the column, drag and drop the section from here into the dashboard page, alert section, action links, link menu, link or images, embedded content, text, and even you can even display folders if you wanted to. The bottom section is for catalog items. So anything that you have saved in the, in the BI catalog. So it can be OTB analysis, it can be uh, action links, dashboard prompts, BA publisher reports, whatever. So you can drag and drop that into um, the dashboard page. So let me run this and we can see how it looks. All right, so the first section is the title. So you can see the title here. You can see the tabular view and the graphical view here. And then the third section has a graphical view and an embedded image. So this is link, this is pointing to the image from the web. This one is pointing to um, OTB analysis. This link is pointing to a Google search web page. Here, this is an action link. This is pointing to Google search. This is an action link. This is pointing to an OTB analysis. This is an action link menu. So if I click on that, I should see multiple options. So I can click on one of them. So if I click the first one, it should, it'll take me to a tables analysis or dashboard. The second one is again a GL analysis or dashboard. So I have that option of providing multiple action links using the action link menu. Uh, I do have the option of setting the background color. You can see that the background color is different for this section. This one is different. Uh, there's also a border involved. You can set this, um, you can set the uh, color of the border. You can also make this collapsible so I can collapse sections and uh, yeah so that's all the properties that you have and this is the basic structure of a dashboard and you can see that i have you can see that i have uh, two pages one is the overview page and one is the payments page um, i can have different analysis in both of them this one has a graphical view 
and the com compound layout from one of the master detail events analysis that we created in the last video. But you, you see, you get the idea that you can have multiple pages, um, different analysis in each of them. Uh, you can have different sections, different contents, types of contents, etc. So if you want to go back in the, to the edit mode, so I click on the properties and click on edit dashboard, and I go back to the edit option. So that's the basic structure of a dashboard, and we will get into more detail on creating a dashboard in the next videos, but I just wanted to give you an overview of the anatomy, the structure, what are the different components that goes into creating a dashboard. Uh, you see a toolbar here. This is where you can save. Uh, these two are save and savers. This is a help. This is pretty good. So if you are here, if you want to know more detail, you can click on the help icon. You should see the documentation. This is how you run it. This is how you can preview it. These are the properties. We will get into more detail in the next few buttons, but these are the properties of the dashboard and the page. Uh, you have the option of adding a page using this add dashboard page option. You can delete the current page using this option, all right? So, okay, that's all I wanted to show you today. Uh, look out for more videos on this in the coming weeks. Uh, if you like this content, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more from me on Oracle ERP Cloud, HCM, EPM, uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Uh, let me know what your suggestions and feedback. And don't forget, we have a podcast now. So uh, it'll be great if you could listen to it and provide feedback on that as well. All right. I'll talk to you all in the next one. Bye. Take care.